dear students the third reaction is uh, nitration which nitration is basically the substitution of uh, one or more hydrogen atoms with a nitro group now what is nitro group it is basically this no2 group with a bond available so when you add this nitro group in place of any hydrogen group in the alkane this the process is known as nitration so alkanes undergo vapor vapor phase nitration it means that you have to provide high temperature the nitration will carry out at vapor phase it means that the temperature will be very high and the temperature is about 400 to 500 degree centigrade the conditions are very drastic because again alkanes are not so reactive so here again we will write the equation ch4 methane and nitration is mostly carried out with the help of nitric acid hno3 the temperature is very high 450 degree centigrade almost 400 to 500 degree centigrade and the nitro group no2 will be added in place of one hydrogen you will remove one hydrogen from methane you will give this to this nitric acid and you will take one no2 from here and add it here it will form ch3 no2 so this is nitro methane nitro methane plus the remaining thing is water so nitro alkanes they are uh, generally used as fuels as solvents and they are also used in organic synthesis so in all the reactions we have seen up till now you you can observe very easily that alkanes perfectly fit in the definition of paraffins having little affinity towards any kind of reaction now the next important reaction is the fourth one halogenation halogenation is basically addition of halogens now what are halogens fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine among all these the rate of reactivity or you can say the order of reactivity is fluorine then chlorine then bromine and then iodine now fluorine reacts violently with um, alkanes and uh, it will result in the mixture of carbon uh, fluorinated alkanes and hydrofluoric acid and iodine it does not react at all because either the reaction is very slow or it is reversible so the most appropriate reactions are with chlorine and bromine so alkanes react with chlorine and bromine in the presence of sunlight or ultraviolet radiations uh, or at high temperature which will result in the successive replacement of hydrogens from the uh, alkanes and halogens will be added in place of that hydrogen so extent of halo halogenation the ray and the amount of the product formation it will be dependent dependent upon the amount of halogen you are using so halogenation is carried out uh, or it proceeds through free radical mechanism now radicals are very reactive species so they attack and it will result in the formation of more and more radicals ultimately the whole uh, compound will be utilized so free radical mechanism halogenation is involved in general three steps the first step is initiation at initiation the chlorine molecule is broken down in the presence of high high energy lights like sunlight ultraviolet rays and it will be converted into chlorine radicals now these radicals are so reactive that they will attack a methane molecule i'm just writing it separately so as it becomes clear to you this chlorine will replace this hydrogen this will form so 
sorry it will form ch3 methyl radical plus hcl now this methyl radical will attack since this is also a radical so it is also very reactive so this radical will attack another chlorine molecule and it will break it into a chlorine radical and ultimately ch3 cl now this reaction this is the initiation this is propagation and then at the termination the methyl radicals that are left in the reaction area will combine with the leftover chloride radical and will form methyl chloride and the reaction will stop here this is the termination step this is initiation this is propagation and this is termination now when this second step is repeated again and again it will form a series or mixture of different compound which you can call as substituted compounds first of all this second step is repeated ch3 chloride radical it will form cl ch2 radical plus hcl now this is a radical it will attack more chlorine atoms and it will form dichloromethane now it will take another chlorine and then chlorine radical you can write it as ch2cl2 so this will be dichloro methane now this chlorine radical will again attack this dichloro methane the hydrogen will be removed and the chlorine will be attached to carbon this is also a radical another hcl molecule now this this is a radical it will attack another chlorine molecule again the process is repeated it will attach the chlorine and the leftover chlorine is released now at all the four points cl 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 is attached uh, sorry here we have two hydrogens so one hydrogen will be here and two chlorine <clears throat> and then one hydrogen and three chlorine will be formed plus chloride radical then in the last and final step this trichloromethane will be attacked by chloride radicals this chloride radical same this will be the reactant and it will give rise to radical plus hcl this hydrogen will move here then in the final step it will attack another chlorine and all the hydrogens will be substituted by chlorine and another chlorine radical is released into the atmosphere now as you can see the second step this this step is the basis of the whole halogenation series so first of all it was methyl chloride then it converted into dichloromethane and then it became trichloro three chlorine molecule trichloromethane and ultimately tetra tetrachloromethane or carbon tetrachloride so trichloro methane is known as chloroform dichloromethane and finally we have the tetrachloro 
methane so this is all about the halogenation now let us discuss some uses of methane it is used as fuel as illuminating gas for the preparation of methyl chloride methylene chloride etc and many other compounds at industrial level this was all about uh, alkanes in the next lectures we will be discussing about alkenes till then take care of yourself keep studying thank you so much allah hafiz